Texas Pet of the Week is brought to you by the Houston SPCA, but first, a successful adoption story. A Houston SPCA volunteer was asked to help a friend find a cat he could call his own. So they headed over to the Houston SPCA's new campus and began to search through the various cat rooms and suites. After spending some time with a five-year-old calico cat named Trisket, Ryan said the friendly cat stole his heart. Oh, look at that. Trisket likes all her new toys, but she really enjoys all the boxes those toys come in, of course. She's found her paradise and has quickly become the queen of her castle. So cute. And here with another pet looking for a new home is Julie Kensel with the Houston SPCA and Bonsai, <laughs> who is too cute. Oh, yeah, too cute for anything, right? So, yeah, and what you see is what you get with Bonsai. Oh. He's only one years old, but everybody is in love with his ears. I mean, yes. it's just, yeah. And he's, sure. he's a mix, clearly. Julie, yes. you took him home last night, actually, I just did. as a little trial run, because a lot of dogs and cats are fostered before they find permanent homes. That's right. But how was he at, at your place for the night? Almost too perfect. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my daughter certainly, Emily was like, we don't have to bring him back. And I'm like, yes, we do. Because I've already got a couple of dogs myself, and yeah. then our, our family's just not ready. You have to be ready. But this is probably as close to um, perfect as you can get. There is no such thing as perfect, right? But one-year-old bonsai is just, we don't know a lot of history. Okay. Was transferred in okay. from one of our transfer partners and um, very social, did okay with Max and Maisie. And because um, we just, did a little bit of a slow introduction, but he is just good nature. He loves people. He wants to be around people. He a just lot. caught a glimpse of himself in the TV monitor <laughs> here. And he was kind of <laughs> locked, locked eyes with himself in that monitor. So cute. And um, I mean, he's potty trained, right? He's potty trained. Um, yes, he does very, very well. I took him out this morning. My daughter took him out last night. And uh, yeah, he's great. A great little so personality. Adorable. The fact that he's, he's potty very trained. curious. Courtney, um, you have been considering getting a dog, right? Yes. Hey, we Courtney. Have. I know our family's not ready, Julie. Our I, family I'm is glad not ready that you yet. shared that because that's really important. It you is. You have to be more than prepared. It, it eventually is going to happen. You'll get there. We will come to you guys, sure. but it will be. Um, we need everybody on board. I'm pretty everybody sure understanding when what you, it entails. When you said that just now, Bonsai started crying. His demeanor totally changed. <laughs> but the good news is, Bonsai is ready to find a home. And I know someone out there right now, you're probably falling in love just as we are. So if they want to adopt, they have to act fast and get over to the Houston SBCA right now. Yeah, we're open until 7 tonight and this weekend and Labor Day weekend. We're, we're open up on Labor Day, too. So just to let folks know, but on weekends, it's always 10 to 6. Okay, yeah. but don't wait because Bonsai is going to make a good addition to your home. He's so cute. To learn more about pet adoptions, visit the Houston SPCA website at HoustonSPCA.org. There you're also going to see all the other animals that are available for adoption as well and sort of their yearbook, right? And um, by the way, don't call us. We love yes. you, but don't call us. Just call the Houston SPCA Just or go. Go, go on down. Just go to the website because it's on the website. If he is on the website or you see another dog that you fall in love with or a cat or a horse, yeah, just go to the website. That means they're still available. Okay, good tip. Julie, great to see you. Good luck, Bonsai. Good luck.